This is the eastern end of Ecring Meadows, the Nottinghamshire Wildlife Trust Reserve here in Nottinghamshire. It's a site I know particularly well. I've been birdwatched here since, or well, between 1997 and 2012, almost daily visits in that time. As I was driving past not half an hour ago, I noticed that one of our most beautiful and rarely mentioned spring flowers seems to be putting on a really good show here. And I can tell you, it's not cowslip either. And this is that flower. This is the beautiful cuckoo flower. Now, some of you of an older disposition that maybe lived in rural Nottinghamshire villages many years ago may well be shouting, that's not cuckoo flower, but it is. Although, depending where you were brought up and where your childhood was, you could be forgiven for thinking that this is called lady smock used to be called ladies smock depend sometimes but it's otherwise known as cuckoo flower either way the scientific name is cardamines pretensis what people often refer to as being cuckoo flower is actually pink campion but what a beautiful plant this is it's been out for a week or so it grows in damp meadows such as this and is an absolute beauty. Look at that for a delicate pink. Absolutely beautiful. Just got those darker veins in them as well. It really is a beautiful plant. It's not overstated. The foliage is nice and almost vetch-like, to be honest. But it is a beautiful thing. It's also one of the plants used as a host plant by the orange tip butterfly and over the next few weeks if you look at the top in amongst the uppermost buds you may well see the bright orange egg of the orange tip butterfly it's a lovely and say very much understated and somewhat forgotten spring plant always grows in grassland and say if it's damp grassland the better and it's a plant that's probably like many other meadow species is somewhat in decline due to the fact that its habitat has been ploughed over or has been ploughed over in large amounts over the past number of decades but i do love this i used to have a plant of this in the garden many many years ago it's an absolute beauty And it's a shame that it's somewhat forgotten and neglected. When you think of spring flowers, we're all going mad on dandelions at the moment, and rightly so. And cowslips. Cowslips have become quite ten a penny. You can buy them in garden centres now. I have seen this for sale in garden centres. But it's a beautiful plant to grow. The butterflies like it as a nectar source. Obviously, all the whites and brimstone and orange tips, of course. And, say, the orange tip larva, once they hatch, they feed on the developing seed pods. All in all, it's a beautiful, if not rather neglected and forgotten about, spring flower. Gorgeous, isn't it? And here is an orange tip egg. If I just turn this round, you can see that. Excuse the grubby finger. See that little orange thing there? Well, that is the egg of the orange tip butterfly. A beautifully cylindrical shaped egg 
starts off cream, creamy white, and then within a day, the fertilized egg goes this beautiful orange color. The interesting thing about the larva of orange tips is that they're extremely cannibalistic. If you rear these in captivity, one larva, one container. If you've got a large container, you may well get away by putting lots of food in. And your other two won't get cannibalised by one increasingly larger larva. As a general rule, rear them separately. And the larva, once this hatches out, by this time, this now dying flower and developing seed pod will provide food for the larva. The larva are very easy to find, quite well camouflaged, but easy to find on the heads of both cuckoo flower, which is Cardamines pretensis, and also jack by the hedge, which is the more familiar egg laying plant in woodland situations. I can't remember the scientific name of jack by the hedge, but Google it and it will appear as if by magic. But these are one of the easiest butterfly eggs to find. Especially because they're that beautiful orange. As I sit here and film this, there's at least two male orange tips. One that's to the left of me now, another one you might be able to see heading towards this in the screen, and they're flying low amongst the cuckoo flower, looking for females. Females that are resting on the flower. Here it comes, hopefully it's gone to the left of me. But a meadow like this, and the next meadow down here at Eagle Meadows is just the same as this. So now's the time to get out and have a look in your local meadowland for this beautiful flower. It really is one of those forgotten gems of spring, really. That's Colomene pretensis, the beautiful cuckoo flower.